Ladies and gents, please welcome to the stage, Neil Malarkey. Thank you. People often ask me, what is it you actually do? Well, it's a really very fine question. Um, okay, let me think about this one. Oh, Neil. Neil is, it's not what you normally think. I use improv to encourage creativity and better communication in organisations large and small. He's a comedian, he's a film star, he's basically a very clever bloke who's helped me solve some business problems. Very, very successful business man and skills developer as well as a brilliant comedian. A place of work from down here, please. Terminal 5 at Heathrow. Terminal 5 at Heathrow, thank you, as opposed to Terminal 5 at... Stansted. <laughs> Communication is enhanced by the skills of improv. Improv is about listening with intent to the other person, actively seeking to build on what they give you. The first rule of improv is listen. That was the thing that we all took away, and me personally took away, was around listening really intently and actually being able to pick up on what your client said and work with that. The tiger bit my head. Master. <laughs> <laughs> You actually learn the importance of listening very carefully to what people say. I think the one that I liked the most was the yes and scenario where you're having a conversation with someone, they're giving you a scenario and then you're answering that with yes and. I finished the bathroom. Yes, and you did a great job at it. Yes, and I was inspired by something you said yesterday. Yes, and I've always thought of myself as a leader amongst painters. <laughs> yes, and I agree with that and that's the reason I married you. <laughs> So if you can communicate, thus influence, engage and connect, surely that's a powerful tool wherever you are. Neil is one of our mentors. We've got 24 students and mentors volunteer their time to help our students on their journey. The first day of their journey, the very first day of their journey is improv. His core improvisational techniques are also core to good management communication. In improv, teamwork is vital. You have to collaborate with your fellow player and with the audience. <laughs> And then when it really works, the magic's tangible. I think it really helps you to work with others because you're learning to really listen to people and what they're saying. For me, the greatest joy in my workshop is seeing a quieter person at the edge come into the centre. I was absolutely dreading it. I'm not a big fan of speaking in front of other people. Oh, dear. <laughs> people went in there, first of all, very reserved, as they would normally do for a course. I saw people who had previously been quite quiet members of the management team suddenly come out of their shell. What he's really good at is drawing out from people what is inside them. He got even the shrinking violets in the back row totally engaged and by the end of the evening had everyone on board. Nowadays whatever you're doing somebody else can turn up and do it quicker, cheaper and more aggressively. Agility is what you need, it's the competitive advantage and improv is all about agility. I think his real skill is about left field creativity. We're in a construction infrastructure game and we are maybe a little stiff, uh, but in a, an increasingly competitive market, I think creativity and helping a client find solutions and actually being the sort of people that they want to work with is very important. I think it encourages you just to kind of think outside the box and be a bit more creative with things. My thinking about it is if you have somebody from outside who can come in for an, just one hour and can clear everyone's head, then it does make a difference. He refreshed the jaded palates of a whole load of pretty senior cello marketing corporates at the end of a very busy day. On top of everything else, people have fun together. They laugh together. And it's the beginning of a real transformation. Something wonderful is going to happen. It was great fun on the day. I mean, it really was a, a laugh all day long. I certainly learned how to laugh at myself, that's for sure. If you want a professional, if you want somebody who's not just a comedian, who can get inside and understand what a business does, and really ask some really good thought-provoking question and can bring structure to an event, then I, I, I would recommend Neil. He gets the right balance of um, intellect, creativity, knowledge and fun to make the day effective. Yes! And that's why there's something wrong with our relationship. You're a husband who wears a dress. I'm a woman who wears trousers all the time. Yes, and married people should accept each other for who they are. But that's why it's over. <laughs> And you're right, I've been having an affair with the accountant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it could be worse, it could have been a lawyer. <laughs>